Washington Commanders on the road week six, trying to snap a three-game losing streak. They are down in Atlanta, just like Havana, I hear. Rise up, watching them fly from the sky, I guess. Kick on the way, and who got it? And Atlanta wins it! Balls. Balls are flying from the sky in this case, and they weren't just flying from the sky off the foot of Young Way Koo. They were flying from the sky out of the hand of Desmond Ritter last week, which isn't standard fare for the Falcons' O-Face. Snap, Ritter takes it. He does go middle of the field. Down near the 25 to Drake London. Ritter didn't just hit 285 dash, and he went for a career-high 329 yards, TD, no picks, rating over 110, made a bunch of big throws in crunch time. In the flat and down the sideline, staying in bounds. And it's going to set up a first and goal. It was like Ritter was driving a tractor like a Hellcat. Atlanta's a run-first squad, but they won't need to be if their passing attack can do more of that. And the thing is, they could do more of that versus Washington's defense. They've given up a rating over 100, have given up one of the highest rates in the league, gave up four TD passes to Justin Fields last week, over 280 yards, a rating over 120. To the end zone, reaching up, does he make the catch again? DJ Moore, touchdown! Commander's secondary had no clue how to cover DJ Moore, gave up 230 yards and a TD to him, a 124 rating allowed to wide receiver in 2023. This is pulled in by Moore, gets free. Washington gambles and lose the gamble that time. That would seem to open the door for a big game from Drake. London had 75 plus yards in their week five. Win. Clean pocket for Ritter, some work to do after the catch, but Drake London with a spin move to pick up the first down for Atlanta. What sticks out about Ritter's breakout game though, the tight end position, 13 receptions between Kyle Pitts and Jonu Smith, 65 plus yards for each guy. That pair and London accounted for 27 of 38 of Ritter's targets. Ritter unloads and throws a really nice ball complete inside the 40. Washington's defense gave up a touchdown to tight end Cole Komet last week, five receptions on five targets. I mean, he gets separation. Even if he doesn't get separation, it's an advantage at 6-6. Commanders do sport a strong pass rush. Their front four still jump Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, Chase Young, Montez Sweat, 16 sacks over five games. Sweat has four and a half to lead the team. He got to Fields one and a half times. Fields, look out, under pressure, down he goes. 21 yard line, Montez Sweat. Ritter has taken a sack at least once in every game in 2023, averaged four a game through four weeks. Fakes the gift, sets the puck, gonna get hit, gonna go down. Sack back inside the 40 yard line. And then came week five, zero sacks taken, only three QB hits allowed. Houston's pass rush, not bad either. Look at this. I mean, look at that catch behind the back. Get it off your back. Washington's still going to have to play the run well this week. It's Atlanta's bread and butter. Tyler Algier, Bijan Robinson split the carries. Algier hasn't been able to crack three yards per carry four straight games now. Robinson was held to 3.3 a run by Houston. He gets the call on the first play, but that Texas defense is up to the challenge. Still, from what we've seen from Bijan, it won't shock anyone to see him have a game this week. Being the commander's defense has allowed 4.8 yards per carry in 2023, one of the most generous run defenses in the league. And when it comes to Bijan's position, Washington's allowing 4.4 a run to running back. Here comes Julian McLaughlin. McLaughlin to the end zone, on touch, Denver touchdown. The Commanders have given up 32 points per game on defense so far, only one team worse. Their offense only put up 20 points last week against a defensive neighbor of theirs. So yeah, that's not good either. It's incredible. It's unbelievable. Another sack. Pair that now with Atlanta's defense that's holding it down to 19 points per game allowed. This time that Falcons defense gets there in the backfield. Call up Miami, Atlantic, Atlantis. Atlanta's defense looks to be for real. Texans passing offense was on fire prior to week five. Falcons held C.J. Stroud to a sub-90 rate. This Atlanta defense has been impressive all four games of the season. And they've uh, picked up right where they've left off of week four. Now they set their sights on Sam Howell, Washington's quarterback, six TDs, six picks on the year, mid-80s rating. Kid has his moments. He threw for a rating close to 100 and over 380 yards week six, two touchdowns. Close to the end zone. It's caught. Thomas. Touchdown, Washington. Kerry McLaurin, the team's wide receiver number one, has accounted for 52 yards per contest. The touch on that ball over Edmonds, 
perfectly into the arms there of McLaurin. Howell has thrown for close to 270 yards per game this season. In their most recent loss, he targeted Logan Thomas the most. He had over 70 yards in a TD. And Howell throws. Can he pick up the first? A dive by Logan Thomas. That has been a blind spot for Atlanta's pass defense. Rating allowed near 110 for the year. Quick pitch and catch. That's a first down inside the 30. Dalton Schultz. Falcons pass rush didn't do much versus Houston. Zero sacks, and they only have five for the year. But Washington's O-line, the Bears aren't frequent visitors to Mom's house, yet they sacked Howell five times. And what a nice job there, just sudden off the line of scrimmage and finishing. Howell, a Pineapple Express expert with the amount of grass his face has been in the first five games, 29 sacks taken already. Step up in the pocket again, he goes down! Everybody's getting in on the act today. Brian Robinson handles the rushing duties for a carry, 54 yards per game. Washington bailed on their run game week five. He only had six carries. Falcons' run defense won't be easy to penetrate, holding backs to 3.7 a run. They're running it here, though, and that Texans offensive line could not get the push. That's how we get it on, get it on. Now you get it on in the comments section by adding your keys and predictions. You can also get it on by signing up for NFL Plus. You can watch live games, NFL Red Zone, NFL Network, and more on mobile. Prediction time.